I'm joined by manager Lee Vyshenko. Lee, Bristol Manor Farm 5, Helston 5. There's not many times I'm sure a team would score 5 at home and not come away with 3 points. What are your thoughts after that crazy game of football? Yeah, it was a crazy game of football. A crazy game. Uh, I, like, I like entertaining football. I like uh, matches where people can't wait to get back to the next one. Um, I think, I don't know whether it was loads and loads of quality or it was just exciting today. I think lots of supporters would be wanting to come back and watch another game here if they've, if this is the first time they've turned up as a manager even said to their manager like with about a good half hour to go like what's your thoughts on today because uh, it was a confusing day really like I can't um, attack any of my players based on the the not just the recent weeks and months they've given me but the, the, the year so there's players in that dressing room played for me for, for a long long period of time and every every week they turn up and give me their, their, their everything and uh, today was just I think a couple of them are going to go away and have a few sleepless nights about certain moments of their game today. But to, to be honest, um, like you said, I think we're going to put that one to, to bed. We come through it, um, keeping our home record intact in terms of not we lost a game at, at home this season so far, and we're now in deep into October. We've played a side that are very good. You can see why they haven't lost the game. You can see why they come up as champions. Um, they've got good quality in, in their in their squad. So. Uh, was we're obviously always going to be frustrated scoring five and not winning a game of football. They, they may be able to say the same themselves. So scoring five away from home and not winning a game is, is a strange situation as well. And talking about those goals, they obviously we probably don't really need to focus on the five that went in in our goal. Let's focus on the five that went in went in theirs and, and Josh Bishop. Josh Bishop got three in the turn, so I don't know. Definitely, yeah, yeah. Obviously, we're going to look at the five that went in our net uh, as, as a management team and a group of uh, players. But yeah, you want to enjoy the enjoy these. Uh, Days uh, Saturdays, what you wanna wanna be about, like enjoying what you've just witnessed, and we know with in particular like Josh Bissett that in recent weeks he's outstanding. He scored three goals today. Maybe a, well, one of them is a bit of fortune. I think I think his second goal was uh, absolutely outstanding. I think he's just the, the man up on all ends. I think he needed untangling after after the, that situation. And Josh has like passed it into the, the side stand, the stanchion of the net. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great great goal. Um, and obviously, like uh, I think Louis Britton's easy with like one touch finish, and he's 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 given us his goal as well. And obviously, Reese Thomas with that with that with that error, a great reaction from the breakdown from the corner. So yeah, like we, we scored like goals that we're going to enjoy. I think obviously again, their keeper might be a little bit disappointed with maybe at least the, the one we scored in the second half. But um, again, we're we're all positive. Can't wait to get the Tuesday at Marlborough, and we know it's another tough place to go. Another side that was set up to to um, stop frustrate and stop you playing. And, uh, and they got threats to the ring. So uh, like not only will they be looking to just stop us playing, they got players that they're gonna look to get into the game and on the ball. So we, we got like we just said that we got to come away from this one slightly disappointed, very disappointed dropping points at home, but knowing that we're fully motivated for the, the next game which is Tuesday night. And you said in your programme notes Lee that you uh, wanted to see a good student turnout. So it's our student day today and over four hundred uh, in the attendance here is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, brilliant. I mean like uh, again, no like, I think they've been entertained today. Obviously, it would have been nice to have been celebrating three points with them at the end of it. Obviously, it's like you're slightly tainted by the fact that we've dropped points, in our opinion. But again, I'll, I'll judge this point in a, in a, in a few weeks' time. You know I mean, I, I, I fully respect every team in this division, and Halston come fully respected here today. Like, obviously, I think their games are to go top of the table. Um, you can't choose your fixture list, and so you're playing everyone twice in a, in a, in a season. We know. We, we were always going to have, like um, we, we said, this month is going to be a tough month for, to, to encounter. There's other sides that are like, you know, they're still covered up a little bit in the, in the opponents they've come up against to date. Um, but we, we know they're, they're keep everyone to keep. You know, we're, 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 we're cool about this season from start to finish. We know we're going to be in the mix, um, along with a few other clubs that will be in the mix. And you might see a few fall away. We know that won't be us. We're, we're here to stay. And uh, like a, I'm looking looking forward to the next game with a lot of enjoyment. Like I'm looking forward to the, the periods that we're going to be um, going into in the season because I think we've got a good collective group here the supporters are buying into what we're doing and I think this is going to be one of the most enjoyable um, seasons in Bristol Manor Forum's history and there's been a couple of new additions as well to the squad obviously we know about Abu Samar and, and the positive impact that he's made and of course Ollie Sully coming home from Taunton Town as well and he came on to end really well yeah definitely you know, we're, we, we, we were grateful for Taunton um, uh, helping us uh, get that one over the line obviously we had a little look in recent weeks, another lad from them, Evander Grubb. But obviously, it, like there's situations there. Like I know Evander's gone out and got a game 
today um, <coughs> in local football, and uh, I, I believe he'll be signing for a club in the league above for, uh, on Monday. We uh, we both me and Ivan had a good conversation, and we think that's probably better for him at this moment in time <coughs> to go and still try and remain at the level that he's playing at currently with Taunton. And, uh, and I wish him well with that. We're, I'm glad that um, Taunton made us aware of Ollie Sellers availability. He trained with us Tuesday, he looked lively. And we introduced him as our first sub today because we felt the game needed that like out and out boy player like, to give us that bit of whip. And you know, like, on a couple of occasions, I think he's got like like you know, like it was a last ditch tackle that stopped him in his tracks. I think he had opportunities like that, like it, and, and like another day a bit more sharpness he would have like capitalised on. But we can tell that we've got a player there and Ollie, like we've got good players all around the place. Like the bench had like other players on it today. Dylan Tate coming on, and we know that well, we've all seen what Dylan Tate brings to the table. Maybe slightly frustrated with his lack of game time, but we spoke on Tuesday on uh, training on Tuesday, and and, and he. Uh, He's aware that over the next couple of weeks he's going to get a good amount of game time as well. So the squad's good. Al Robbins will welcome back now after he served his three match suspension. Um, George Dowling got onto the pitch today based on he's, he's had a niggle and it's still probably still like playing him up a little bit because obviously if he was available fully he'd be play, he'd be playing from the start. But like I know this squad's good and the games as they come at us we're going to enjoy them as as we as we set about them. Thank you. Thank you.